Hi, this is Dr. Krauss again, and I wanted to show another quick Raspberry Pi, this one should be really short, um, configuration video. I want to talk about how to get to a basically functioning scientific Python so that I can use that for plotting and data analysis. And so I need to install, I think, at least three packages to make that work. So sudo apt-get install python numpy so numerical python or numpy definitely not pronounced numpy um, i think you sound ridiculous if you say that it's numerical python so it's numpy um, is the package for doing vector and array stuff in python and you may find out that it's already installed i think in jesse from my computer it was already installed so it says python numpy is already installed and is already the newest version um, then you also need Python matplotlib, so sudo apt-get install Python matplotlib, and that is the plotting routine. Um, that one is probably not already installed on your computer, so I, or on your Raspberry Pi, apparently I did that on this one, sorry. And then ipython, sudo apt-get install i, i is for interactive, ipython, and um, if it's not already installed on your computer, it takes or on your Raspberry Pi. It takes a minute or two to download the packages and do the installation and so on and so forth. And as soon as that completes, I will show you um, how I would verify that in my mind I had basically functioning IPython, numeric Python, matplotlib capabilities. If I can generate a sine wave as a time vector and plot it, then I'm happy. And apparently this is taking just a minute to install IPython. Okay, so I'm gonna start it as IPython dash dash PyLab. And the dash dash PyLab does a couple of important things for you. It starts a separate graphic thread for the plot windows. And let me think of what else it does. Oh, it also automatically loads the NumPy and matplotlib stuff into the workspace, into the main global namespace. So I can type, for example, t is equal to a range 0, 1, 0, 0.01, that start, stop, step. And so if I look at t, it goes in increments of 0 0.01 from 0 to 0.99. If you get back a func a, 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 an error that a range is not known, you either didn't start with the dash dash pi lab or numpy is not correctly installed on your system. So similarly I'm going to say y is equal to 2 times pi times t and so there's y and then I'm going to bring up a figure just out of habit I'm going to clear that figure and I'm going to plot t comma y. And so if you execute those commands and see a sine wave on your plot and then if you wanted to you could do things like adding a y label and adding an x label oops screw that up and there you go so if you can do those things and generate the plot and sign and a range and pi are all known then your IPython is correctly installed, matplotlib is correctly installed, and numpy is correctly installed, and you're using the dash dash pylab. When you go to enter out of this, exit out of this, I'm sorry, hit control D, and then hit enter, um, and that will save all of your command history into the IPython history file, and things will be lovely. Um, I feel like there's one more thing I was going to say. Um, so I would want to, instead of having to type ipython dash dash pylab, that gets a little bit old. And so I am going to add an alias to my dot bash rc file. Um, and so if I come, and there's a bunch of stuff in here, most of which I don't really understand. It's, it's different bash shell script stuff to colorize things and do, whoops. Okay, so apparently I already have this alias from a previous installation. So yours would not have that line. Whoops. And you would want to paste it back. 
how do I, so uncut text is control U. Okay, so alias numpy equals sudo ipython dash dash pilot. So I'm adding, so numpy is basically gonna then automatically generate this entire command. And I'm using the sudo command because later on we may wanna do serial or other things, I squared C inside of IPython and you have to be the super user. So super user do is the thing. So once you have that line added to your dot bash RC, you may have to close all your shells and restart. You may have to reboot, but I don't think so. And you should be able to type numpy and it should pull up and you should see something like using matplotlib backend. And so that tells me that it has, um, uploaded the various packages and so I've got plot sign a range and pi all working correctly and I have a basically properly functioning IPython configuration thanks I'm gonna hit control D again and exit out of there